बस करे हो यार इल्मो बस करे हो यार माय म्यूजिक एज एन आर्टिस्ट इज मोर uh more a sort of a continuity of what the people especially in 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 our in our in our in south asia whether they were they were sufi saints who were pursuing music whether they were classical musicians who just were wanting who wanted to break from the mold and and try to create something new i felt that at that at the time that we started out rock and roll for us and and the energy of rock and roll and the way we modified it to connect with our people over there was the way forward so for me it was a lot more continuity i f- i feel more of a classical musician than most of the people around me although i don't pursue any of that sound we uh, come from a country where uh, you know people generally associated that country with something like sufism and sufi rock and so we're not we're not in that category I, I, it's uh, it's i guess it's convenient to label us that way but um i guess what we borrow from the sufi tradition is is uh you know the freedom to speak out your mind and the freedom to speak uh, speak out your ideas but um we haven't really um you know regurgitated a lot of sufi kalam and um in our music we have been inspired by it a lot but then we got down to the drawing board and created our own music so well, as, as i was growing up i just realized that i i really really enjoyed the western music particularly the the uh, the harmony aspect of it i would definitely had a very very distinct ear for it and i would i would enjoy it and i would listen to it again and again and now grow- as i was growing old when i came across rock and roll i just knew that this was something that i really liked and in my head it was very very separated but then when i started making music then i started started learning how to fuse the two so that was a very interesting exercise for me I belong to a very small community in Pakistan, a very uh, a Christian Goan community, and uh, you know whether it was school or whether it was uh, the church, uh, whether it was the choir, uh, these little talent shows that we played, uh, there was a lot of influence, a lot of uh, like uh, you know the kind of music that uh, uh, we were listening to back then on the phonograph, which was uh, you know a lot of Coltrane, a lot of. Uh, uh you know dizzy galispi there was a lot of influence of that kind of stuff over the years as i grew up uh, i start i started branching out of the community and uh, trying to uh, you know reach out to different cultures and different uh, communities in the country and that's how i met uh, ali noor and ali hamza music goes beyond cultural barriers and goes beyond cultures because uh i think it's recognized universally recognized as a universal language um so if i think about it and if i delve slightly deeper into it i realize that and understand that it has to do with uh how music connects with an individual uh, it's much more effective means of communicating with people uh it lasts longer words do not have that uh, such as long as such a longevity as uh, music does